Hi everyone, welcome to another InMotion Hosting video tutorial. My name is Arnold Custodio and today we will be talking about a block that is available within the WordPress Gutenberg editor, the column block. This block allows you to have some flexibility with your post or page content and has been recently improved within the WordPress editor. We will show you how it can be used within a post and the features available through the editor interface. We are going to start within the WordPress administrator dashboard and within a post. Column blocks can be used within a page or post, but for this tutorial, we are using a post. When you add the columns block, simply click on the plus sign. Then find and choose the columns block. And then when the block appears, you can see that there is immediately already several different types of layouts that you can have for your columns. This wasn't always available in the past. Uh, as you can see that you have different layouts here, but these can also be adjusted on the fly and we'll show that as we go through using the column block. I'm going to choose the evenly split one right now just to show you how you can add content to it. When you start adding content within a block, it doesn't give you uh, an immediate feel like when you're starting to use a block within the Gutenberg editor to start with. Like you can start typing, but nothing will happen. But in here, what you'll need to do is you'll need to designate what kind of block you're going to use. So what you're going to do is click on the plus sign. I'm going to go ahead and add an image in this case, and then we're going to just pick one from the library. We're going to find good old Grace and the Cat. And then on this side, I'm just going to add a paragraph. And you can see that these columns are evenly split. Now, when you're working with columns, you may see that sometimes there's a, uh, a situation where you need to move the column a little bit over because it doesn't look right because the graphic is, may not be too big. And the text, you may want it to be closer to the, to the left-hand side. And the nice thing is you can actually select a column like I have here. You can see that each column is highlighted when you click on them. And then you can go over to the, the block side of it here on the right-hand side and then switch the percentage width. So if I go to the left here, you can see I'm reducing the column width. If I go to the right, I'm increasing it, and it brings it closer to the column on the left. To look a little closer at the columns block, we can click on it here, and you can see there are multiple levels to the column by the dotted lines or the lines that are around the column. If you click on the outer line here, this controls the entire column that you've set for the block, the actual block. So you can see the different options here. This is like any other block within the Gutenberg editor. It'll allow you to change it. This particular thing is for changing the alignment. And this is for changing the vertical alignment, how the content appears vertically within the actual block. If you go to the first option, which is for changing alignment, and you click on it, there's an option for full width and wide width. Now, if I were to click on wide width, you'll see that it'll take more real estate on the on the actual post. You may not want this depending on how your content is positioned, and this is also affected by the CSS or the formatting that you use within your particular theme. The vertical alignment, like I was saying earlier, allows you to position the content within the block. So if you want it to be more centered, you can center the content itself. If you need to remove a block, you need to click on the dotted line on the outside to control the entire block. Click on the three dots on the right hand side and then click on remove block. As with any block within the Gutenberg editor system, if you click on the block and you go to the right hand side and click on advanced, there is the option to add additional CSS. Thanks again for watching this in motion hosting video tutorial. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to our channel. To learn more about WordPress and many other topics, please go to our InMotion Hosting Support Center website. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.